Hello YouTubers! Welcome back to Edification 360 Degrees. And so today we are tackling Economics and Management Sciences Grade 7 Accounting Concepts Video Number 2. In the previous accounting video, it was accounting concepts video number one, we looked at what is accounting, capital, assets, liabilities, income, and expenses. And so for the sake of this video, we are focusing on accounting concepts number two, and we are going to be looking at the following, profit and loss, banking, budget, savings, financial transactions, and records. Before we get started with today's video, we are quickly going to go through the answers of practice activity 1.1, which was in the previous EMS video. 1.1, a car bought on credit is a liability. 1.2, equipment and land of a business is an asset. 1.3, stove used to start a food business is a capital. 1.4, a company bus is an asset. 1.5, missionary used to start XYZ business is capital 1.6 a mountain bike is an asset 1.7 housing bond payments are a liability 1.8 75,000 used to start abc business is capital and lastly 1.9 outstanding balance of a house payment is a liability and next up we had practice activity 1.2 you need to put the assets given under the correct column under fixed assets we have personal computer furniture and delivery van and the current assets we have slippers cash register petty cash money in current account packaging material and debtors and all of this is out of nine marks And now moving on to practice activity two, you are given a case study and you had to write down the business income and business expenses. Under income, we have rent income and commission income. Expenses, we have telephone, water, hair products, electricity, salaries and wages, delivery fees, and lastly, transportation costs. We are starting with accounting concept number two. The first one is profit and loss. Profit. Profit is when income is more than expenses. An example, if a business has an income of 22,000 rand and they spend, expenditure expense, they spend 10,000 rand, that business is left with 12,000 rand. And before we even look into anything, you can already see that the income is definitely more than expenses. And so hence, this becomes a profit. It means this particular business has made a profit. Why did they make a profit? Because their income is more than their expenses. And now we move on to loss. Loss is when expenses are more than the income. The example that is there on the screen, this certain business has expenses of about 23,570 while they only receive an income of 17,750. Before we even do any calculation, you can already see that their expenses are more than the income, meaning that this business has made a loss, a loss of how much? A loss of 5,850. Now 
Now we have practice activity 1.1. Calculate the following. Determine whether it's a profit or loss and the amount. It's for 10 marks. You are given different income and expenses. You have number one up until number five. Each one is worth two marks. Hence, at the end, it's a total of 10 marks. Practice activity 1.2, read the case study of XYZ business and complete the table below. Determine whether the business has made a profit or a loss. XYZ is a motor space business in Johannesburg. They receive 6560 from renting out one of their offices, commission of 4600 from EFG Oils, and their sales are 8000 rent each month. They pay for the following cost. Electricity 570, telephone 350, water 200 rand, delivery 555, trading stock 3400. As you can see on the right hand side, you have the table which you need to complete. After completing the table, you will look at your total income and total expense, and then you'll be able to determine whether the business has made a profit or a loss. This bank account assists the business to be able to deposit and to withdraw. Deposit means putting money into the account and withdrawing means taking money out of the account. Bank statements are issued to the business to show the financial activities that have happened into the account in a specific period of time. Budgets. A budget is a plan of the money that you receive and how you intend on spending it. The importance of having a budget is to live within your means and to not overspend. Budgets are not only for businesses, but also for individuals, families, and organizations. Savings. Savings is money that is put away for something that may be needed in the future. Saving is important because it helps us to plan better for the future. There are three types of saving accounts. The first one is a notice deposit. You earn interest and your money is available after you have given the required period of notice. The second one is called a call deposit. You earn interest and your money is available whenever you need it. And the third one is called a fixed period. An account where an amount of money is invested for a fixed period at a fixed interest rate. Practice activity 2. 1. Define the following terms. A. Budget. B. Savings. Number 2. Explain the importance of a business having a bank account. 3. Name the three types of saving accounts. 4. What is the importance of having a budget? Financial records. Financial records give a formal account of different financial activities of a business. And when it comes to financial records, we have four different types of financial records. The first one are documents. Documents such as contracts, receipts, checks. The second one, it is bank statements, and these bank statements come from the bank. The third one is income statements, and these are calculated using the business's profits. And the fourth one are balance sheets, balance sheets which show how much a business is worth. Then why is it so important for a business to keep financial records? Business owners must know how their business is doing financially, so that they are able to plan properly. To make sense of financial information, the business needs to keep accurate and up-to-date financial records. And most businesses would then use a person that they call a bookkeeper. Financial transactions. In accounting, we refer to any business deal as a transaction, and there are many different examples of these transactions. Number one, buying stock that the business is going to sell. Two, paying the wages of someone who works for the business. Three, receiving money from customers. Four, buying stationery from a supplier. A transition is recorded on a piece of paper 
which we know as a source document. There are different source documents to record the different transactions that can take place in a business. The bookkeeper records the transactions so that the owner can use the information to make decisions about how to run the business. And now the next activity, practice activity three, which deals with financial records and financial transactions. The first question, what are financial records? The second question, list the four types of financial records. Question number three, why is it important for a business to keep financial records? Question number four, what are financial transactions? Question number five, list three financial transactions of a business. Just a quick recap of all the concepts that we covered in this video. Profit. Profit is when income is more than the expense. Loss. Loss is when expenses are more than the income. Banking. Every business should open a bank account in the name of the business, as this will help with really seeing the financial activities of the business. Savings. It is important not only for businesses, but for individuals, families, and organizations to save as this then helps them to plan better for the future. Budgets. Budgets are a plan for the future to see how much money is likely to be received and how they are intending on spending it. Financial records. Financial records are used to keep track of the business transactions so that the owner can make good financial decisions about the business. And transactions. Transactions are the business deals that take place in the business each and every day. And that is it for today. Thank you so much for joining us as we're discussing accounting concepts number two. We are available on four different platforms, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and our email. All of that is available there on the screen, as you can see. If you really have any questions or would like to engage in any of the topics which we tackle in our videos, you are more than welcome to communicate with us via those channels. And be sure to subscribe. Be sure to share with others. See you next time.